During this lesson, you'll be focusing on the following skills. Copying and pasting using Control C and Control V. Applying effects to an object on the screen, such as rotate. Duplicating objects. Creating a presentation that includes text and graphics. Controlling a cursor on the computer or the mouse and trackpad. Clicking on the mouse to select and deselect an icon. Using the mouse, the left and right left clicks and understanding the effects of changing cursors. So I want you to create an animation, all right, using Google Slides. Now watch this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna create an animation that's something like this. <laughs> Look at that. All right, so there's my animation. And I want you to create something similar. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. Are you ready? So then, how are you going to do it? Okay, so in your Google Classroom, you're going to see under the computing area of classwork, you'll see create an animation. And in here, you're going to see a Google Slides presentation. So let's view assignment and you're going to see that you will also see the video that i'm showing you now you'll see that there as well so let's click on that and let's get our blank animation there it is so go and do that now okay right the next thing is you need to put a background in so we're going to click on background here and then you're going to choose an image and then what we're going to do is we're going to find an image from Google. So let's look at Google image search. Let's click on that and let's choose a background. So I want a space background, but you can choose whatever you want to do. Be creative in your animation. So let's find a space background and then I'm going to choose one of these. So let's choose this one here and then I'm going to click insert and then I'm gonna click done. There's my background. So I've got a lovely background now, which is fantastic. Now I want to put my objects that I'm going to animate. So let's go over to insert image, search the web, and in my one, I'm gonna find a rocket. Now I'm gonna choose rocket, but then I want to find a PNG. PNG means is that you don't have a background. Okay, so let's choose PNG and then go to rocket background and there is my rocket. So I'm going to choose this one and then I'm going to insert. There's my rocket. Now, where do I want it to start? I'm going to get it to start in the middle and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and I'm going to just turn it because you can use that little circle there to turn your rocket so there we go let's position it now let's find a planet or something that's going to blow up so let's go here search the web and i'm going to find a planet or you could find an asteroid and let's choose this planet here we do want a png remember we want png because that removes the background if it doesn't remove the background then you need to choose a different one okay so let's choose this planet click insert and let's just make this a little bit smaller, okay, like so, all right, and then I'm going to put it here. Right, now, that's our first one. Now we can start creating our animation. So let's do that now. Let's click on our first slide, and what we need to do is we need to copy it. Now, the easiest way to copy is do Control c or Command C, depending whether you've got PC or Mac. Control C and then Control V. Control C or Control V. Or you could do right click, copy, and right click, paste. And that will do the same thing. Okay. If you've made a mistake and you put too many in, you can select the one you've got. And you can see there it's orange around the corner. And then you can select backspace. Okay. So we've got two here. Now on the second one, I need to make a move. So I'm just gonna move that, and then I'm gonna move my planet. Okay, that's it. Then what you do, select number two, control C, control V. And in number three, you move it again. 
and then we do the same again control C control V and then we move it again and we keep doing that until we've finished our animation okay so I'm gonna move it again right I'm gonna keep doing this I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit so you can see my finished product Okay, so when you get to this point where the rocket and the planet are about to hit each other, we want an explosion. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our um, pictures again. We're going to go to images, search the web, and let's choose explosion. PNG, and don't forget the PNG. And there's a good explosion, so let's choose that one and then insert. Okay, then now we need to make it small about the same size as the planet, that's a good size. Then we need to delete the planet and then put the explosion in its place like so. But really what, an explosion starts from small and then gets big. So what we need to do is just make this small, put it in the middle here just so it's there. All right, and then we can copy, control C, control V, and then just make this slightly bigger. Now you could, spin it round a bit if you want to just to make it more effective and then we do it again control c control v and make this bigger and you could move the rocket as well so it's moving out the way all right and then do it again control c control v make this a bit bigger move the rocket again so it's going out the way when the explosion comes. We can move it a bit faster. Control C, Control V, make this a bit bigger. And the rocket, off it goes. And then when it gets to that size, we want it to get smaller again because the explosion gets smaller. So let's move this and move it down. Control C, Control V, and so on and so forth. Let's finish this off. Okay, there we go. So there is our animation, uh, slide animation done. We've got 30 slides here with lots of different images. Okay, now the next bit, you need to really look at how to do this. Okay, so let's click on file and then we want to go to publish to the web. And then what we need to do is go to this button here and say every second. And then I want you to start the slideshow as soon as the player loads, okay? And then we can go publish. We say okay. And then this link here, what you're gonna do is copy that. So control C, or you can do right click, copy, okay? Control C, that will copy it. And then what I want you to do is open up a new tab. Paste this in, control V. And then what you need to do is take off the last zero of this link here. So we're just gonna delete that and then press the return button. And there we have our animation. We can play it again. So, that's how you create your animation. Now what you can do is insert that link into Google Classroom. So you can go back to Google Classroom and in the comment, I want you to do Control V, but remember to take off that last zero like that and then post the link. Then other people in your class can have a look at your animation. And once you've done, just hand it in and then you're done. Good luck, enjoy and be creative, guys. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, goodbye.